How you doing guys? Welcome to the HTML Email Developer YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Um, here's my uh, email, capital.com channel, where I post all the jobs, uh, up-to-date uh, email developer jobs uh, when I get a chance. Um, and here's my email, I'm sorry, ebook sale. Uh, my two uh, ebooks, uh, how to become an e HTML email developer and how to build an e HTML email developer portfolio. Uh, let's go back and let's get into the latest uh, job posting here. And this is by Cybercoders. Uh, I've heard of them before, uh, uh, probably some time back. But anyway, let's get into it. So they are hiring for an HTML email developer remote. They are in uh, New York City, North Carolina. Uh, well, I'm going to say New York, Georgia, Illinois, Massachusetts, Ohio. And they're paying between seventy to ninety thousand uh, dollars uh, annual salary. Uh, so it says, "What will you be doing? Uh, you'll be utilizing HTML, CSS, and email marketing best practices to create and code uh, interactive experiences for email." And also it says they would develop and modify email templates in existing campaigns. Uh, you'll also be applying the best practices in email development, email compliance, regulations, and accessibility. It says, ensuring all clients facing emails and newsletters are held to company and client standards. It says, manage multiple project details and ensure all materials are proof for errors. Uh, so we know what that means also. Just making sure you're doing your work right and uh, make sure that's precise and everything specific uh, pertaining to the guidelines. And, um, you know, then you uh, check your errors. Uh, mainly, uh, you could check them. Uh, self proof check them in uh, HTML code or you could check them in Litmus as well or whatever software that they use uh, as far as uh, testing uh, emails. Remain organized and demonstrate a strong attention to detail and remain flexible through multiple revisions. Now let's talk about that because this is where people kind of uh, underestimate this position. Remain organized and demonstrate a strong attention to detail and remain flexible through multiple revisions. Um, a lot of people at my uh, job has not stayed there that, stayed there that long. I'm kind of like one of, one of the only email developers they still have there. And it's mainly because of this right here. So I want you guys to take heed to this right here. Remain organized. You may be working on maybe two or three campaigns at a time, depending on uh, the... I guess the uh, how large the company is, how big the, the company is. Uh, you may be working on three or four campaigns. Some of those campaign names are so similar that you could almost mistake in one for the other. So that's why it says remain organized and ha have a, a demonstrate strong attention to detail. And when it says remain flexible through multiple revisions, that means um, you can code everything right sometimes, or a lot of times uh, you can code everything right. But at the last minute, you know, you, you send these emails off and the two teams will QC it and everything looks good. They'll come back maybe at the end of the day and say, we want two or three or four different things changed around. Uh, for example, I, I worked in a campaign uh, Wednesday before last. And um, I just en ended up finishing that campaign yesterday. But I called out a lot of things that was wrong with the campaign, you know, typos, errors, uh, alignments, or whatever, um, text errors, or whatever, um, and um, they up they they updated the the instruction sheets and uh, the creatives and everything, uh, but they also changed a whole lot of other things, a whole lot of other things. It was multiple changes, so that's what they're saying. If you could have like I mean, three or four different um, versions of uh of one template i mean one campaign and you may have to change several different things on different campaigns you know different versions of different campaigns as, as a whole so just be cognizant of that uh, knowledge of doing qa and litmus outlook app and other email applications you know about you know testing and litmus email on asset there's another one i've heard of now it's called everest as well so they're testing on those now uh that's like it's kind of similar to uh, Litmus, to be honest. Uh, troubleshoot HTML, CSS, and other performance issues. And then it says, also proactively work with teammates to improve process and work methods for greater efficiency. So you're going to have to talk to 
your project managers to make sure you're on the same page. If you see uh, something that's uh, uh, that may be an issue, you got to get with your project manager. You got to talk to him. Let him know he will get with the the client or whoever the line of business, and he will discuss it with them. And we will all try to come to uh, one mutual accord to what's going on. You know, so that's what that means. Um, it says perform coding and database man maintenance tasks as required. Just do what they ask you to do as far as uh, you know, uh, coding and uh, you know, maintenance. Uh, maintenance procedures. So what do you need for this position? Experience in email marketing, including setting up, optimizing, and ex executing high volume campaigns. So I guess they're going to want you to do a little bit of email ma marketing automations, you know, outside of just coding. Uh, working knowledge of HTML, CSS, or similar web building programs. That's the self exclamatory right there. Knowledge of Adobe experience. I mean, knowledge, knowledge and experience in a, the Adobe Creative Suite. I told you guys you're going to see that all the time. A lot of times you're going to see that. You know, that's what I work out of as well. Ability to multitask efficiently and produce at a fast rate of speed. Uh, they're going to give you a, a, a deadline. So, and it's going to be reasonable. Uh, what I'm going to say is, some places are going to be reasonable. Or some places are going to want you to just stay overtime. I remember my one of my first uh, uh, one of my interview I had with this company. They said, "Can you stay overtime? Can you work overtime?" Uh, now I thought I was going to get overtime pay, but I didn't realize it was salary. So that was going to happen. So they they're saying uh, you may need to work on o overtime just to make sure the work is suffice and uh, everything looks good. So you know that's depending on the company. Prior experience with the Google Analytics. Uh, you can learn that, uh, you know, YouTube, those, you can learn that easily. Uh, enjoy working both independently and within a team under tight deadlines when remaining. Yep. Again, you notice they're kind of saying the same thing in different, you know, in a different, uh, I guess, in a different wording right here. You know, this right here, and kind of this right here is kind of like, uh, yeah. They're basically just saying, they're really saying, hey, Please enjoy working with uh, independently and working with teams. And while you're working with those teams, you got to meet those deadlines, you know, and have a positive attitude. As a po have a positive attitude. Now, I'm going to give you an example. Uh, I started working my position. Uh, a guy came in three, uh, two or three weeks after I did. Um, and when they was asking him about triggering the campaigns or whatever, testing or whatever, man, he was kind of like condescending. He was condescending, you know. You, you could tell he wasn't happy that they was questioning him. You could tell. Tr trust me, it was obvious. It was obvious. So, make a long story short, uh, about three months later, he was gone. He just, you know, he disappeared. Didn't see him anymore. Um, now, I have my days as well. But I don't uh, condescend. I just I just say yes. You know, I just talk and be professional and be positive. Um, but yes, you know, on, on the inside, yes, I'm kind of, you know, agitated at times, you know, we, we're all human, but you got to show that positive energy when you're talking to your PMOs and when you're in your, your weekly, uh, daily meetings. So, so just keep that in mind. Uh, knowledge of email compliance regulations, you know, that's dealing with spam or what have you. Uh, they say this is nice to have, not required. Uh, experience with Pardo or, Mar or Marketo emails. I think that's, uh, I've seen Pardo before. I think Marketo as well. I think that's uh, an internet service provider as well. Experience in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. We all seen that. Working and working knowledge of Script is a plus. Uh, I'm familiar with Script. Never use it, but I am familiar with it. So they have vacation PTO, medical, dental, vision, 401k. Uh, guys, if you uh, don't want to apply up here, you can also email Aaron at cybercoders dot com as well, and uh, you could do it either way, or you could do both to make sure she gets that information. Again, guys, uh, it's paying seventy to ninety thousand uh, annual salary. Um, didn't see um, how long this position lasts. I th I'm thinking it is permanent position because. I don't see contract, and it doesn't say possible extension or anything. So I'm thinking it's a permanent position uh, also, you know. So, guys, again, this is uh, HTML email 
develop a remote position for cyber coders. Uh, just take a look at it and apply, and uh, good luck on it. And uh, again, this is the email, HTML email developer YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Take care.